Uh, we have some breaking news that's uh, coming out of uh, East Africa. It's uh, being reported that 57 people have been burned to death and 65 others injured when a fuel tanker exploded in Morogoro, some 200 kilometers west of, the, of uh, uh, Dar es Salaam. Uh, the victims were reportedly siphoning uh, petrol from the tanker after it had crashed. It's feared the death toll could rise. There are fears that the death toll could rise to... Uh, that's uh, what's happening in Tanzania. All right, for more on that, Hello? we're now joined on the line by Tanzanian journalist uh, Tulanana Bohela. Hello, uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us on the line, uh, Tulanana. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. All right, so this is a horrific accident. Uh, how much more do we know about what happened? Well, according to the regional police commander, Wilbert Mutafungwa, um, he says the, the accident happened around 8.20 uh, East African time. Uh, the tanker was carrying petrol from uh, the uh, main economic capital, Dar es Salaam, um, um, and uh, its destination is and it was unclear. But when it, as it was approaching uh, or going past Mzambu, uh regional um, uh, terminal, the major bus terminal where a lot of regional buses arrive at, um, this is where then the um, accident. Sorry, this is where then the accident took uh, took place. The, the tanker tipped over, and there were many people who were scrambling to cycle on um, the, the 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 petrol that was from from there. There's images um, that are coming out uh, from witnesses on the ground, uh, showing charred bodies that were lying around. Police and uh, firefighters um, came to the rush to the scene to be able to uh, cordon people away from the scene and as well as um, tame uh, the flames. Um, so far, for example, the regional hospital uh, director says they have received uh, 50, uh, 60 bodies, uh, 58 of them being men and two uh, uh, women. So when this uh, tanker crashed, there were no authorities in the area. It looks like it uh, was a, a busy road. Uh, perhaps they could have prevented uh, the siphoning of petrol or were there, was there nobody there? Well, it's unclear at this time um, 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 why uh, uh, it wasn't uh, pulling up uh, quite quickly, but uh, images that were, have been circulating show that there was a big mass of people that, uh, that rushed. And this is something that has happened before. Uh, the largest uh, accident that happened as close to this was about uh, 17 years ago in 2002, and this was in the southern region uh, in there. And... Uh, 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 in, in the, it was a very similar accident where the, the, the tanker fell over and 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 and, and, uh, and, and it happened also in, in countries like Kenya where there was a big that of that nature um, as well. Um, uh, so it's unclear right now as to why the, the response wasn't as as quick um, as, as expected. All right, uh, Tulanana, we're going to leave it there. So 57 people killed. Thanks very much indeed uh, for, for that update. We'll continue following that story there. 57 people reported killed in Tanzania, and that's uh, uh, in a small town uh, not far away from uh, uh, Dar es Salaam. And it's believed that as many as uh, 65 others uh, are been injured. A tanker crashed, and as it was lying on its side, a number of people started trying to siphon fuel from the tanker and that's when it's exploded uh, so we'll have more details for you on that story uh, coming up